Good morning, folks. Looking here, you wouldn't guess that weather experts were becoming worried about two separate systems set to enter the Caribbean. Maybe tomorrow we'll see their concern. Obviously, don't wait until then to check the Torcon. Very accurate U.S. severe weather warnings. The link to this and everything else I talk about, as always, is in the info box below the video. The fourth six magnitude quake of this watch struck near Mexico and Guatemala yesterday. 4.0 in Oregon is larger than average and a moderate tremor struck off the coast of Spain. Usually the left side of this plot is the interesting one, but today the large spots and density spike occur here. Along with some interesting directional flow down at the bottom, sometimes these things show incoming coronal mass ejections, like the one from this M6 solar flare yesterday. The expert's forecast model, the Enlil spiral, shows impact today or tomorrow. Let's keep watch for geomagnetic storms and auroras. That dark coronal hole is turning away. It appears that the coronal hole stream is very, very slow for this returning hole, or it missed us or is still on its way. The magnetometers and rheometers show Earth is stable and shielded nicely, although we don't like to see an uninterrupted variation horizontal near 2 Hz for any more than a day, and we're in day 2 here. I challenge any Healy observer on Earth to explain to me how NOAA has nothing higher than a beta class for these sunspots. Looking at our primary active region, Beta means it has both polarities. Beta gamma is when you cannot draw a continuous line to separate the polarities, and a delta class is both polarities close together within one penumbra, which is the orange around the black umbra. Well, you can see both polarities here, beta. You cannot easily separate all the blue regions from all the red, that's gamma, and that central region is blue and red within one penumbra, very close, that's the delta spot. We also need to watch up north here, another complex region coming in. More M flares or even X flares are likely to come soon. Mercury conjoined the sun two days ago. The quake watch is almost over, but for the coronal hole stream coming CME and full moon in three days. Four significant quakes so far this watch. Luckily, no damage or harm reported. And sky watchers, I'll leave you with the evening sky skipping ahead day by day so you can see Mars approaching Saturn and Spica. They can join in about two weeks. That's the news, folks. Be safe.